What have you come to do? And what sort of stupid question is that? Okay, if you must know, we are here to pick something from Prince Juka's room. With who? With him. With this idiot? Yes, with Ejike. How many times have I told you never to enter this palace? I am the authority here. What I say stands. But he's the one that knows the room and what we are here to pick. Ichike, with all due respect, can you respect yourself? I am still talking. Don't interrupt me next time. I won't take it from you. Were you deaf when I said you should not come here again? Were you? In a Or what? My cousin brother belongs to this palace. Your cousin brother, not you. I was one of you. Your cousin. Eh, or what? I was so you, what will you do? Ah, come and observe the queen before I change her for you, they Chris. What's in the worry? Yes, my princess. Push this fool out of here. I'm going to. Not even your mother or you can stop me. Eh? Doctor, come on down! Give the man proud of dog if I change up. What did I worry you now? What make I fly you for here? You don't mad! What did I do you? Come on, you so two of them. Yes, out. Yes, Get out! 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 Get I totally disagree with you. AGK is my cousin brother. His father is my mother's elder brother. As such, he belongs here. You can't ask me to stop AGK from coming to the palace. That is completely impossible. Maybe I need to remind you, old man, that the queen, or whatever she calls herself, must be reminded that her reign is over because my father, the king, is dead. We shall see who remains in the palace or who leaves. God's not the best. Take hold of yourself, my queen. You can't be doing this. You are even the one that's supposed to be consoling your daughter. Huh? Please. Take my that. queen. Where is the king? In his room. My elders. 
Hey! Let's go in there and do the net for. Hey! <laughs> 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 King Tabo Okawa, the fourth of Ezra Kingdom. Ezekai Beya, what? Awe, Is that how you ended your journey? Oh. Have you done what is required of you? Yes or no? Is there anyone? That is required to see him. If I can use the home on his stomach. Yes, the elders would see him and his son, I mean the one to be crowned king. You have to be very fast. His body has been ripped off due to the long illness of the body casket. Yes, the king already made provision of this. And uh, the son will be here so that we can do one or two rituals before he, the body is put in the casket. Ah! Is that how people die? I was with the king five days ago. Your Highness, that is applicable to all of us. I'm beginning to think that my case is different. No, Your Highness. <laughs> Your Highness, you fell sick like every other mortal body. And you're going to get better soon. I know that you yeah. are sense of optimism is second to none. No, no, but I did not call you here to give me motivational talk. I only called you to intimate you that the big problem that will erupt in my palace when I must have joined my ancestors is beginning to stand me in the face. But I want you, Your Highness. I want you. You did. But do you expect me to regret to him the part of love that I chose then? No. No. I called you to tell you that this problem that will erupt in the palace is giving me troubles. Please advise me. What do I do? Your Highness, you are the custodian of our tradition. And I wouldn't want to suggest anything that will compromise our tradition. However, you are not going to die anytime soon. And let it stop bothering you. You're going to get better, and we'll sort it out. I wish I can stop wondering. Your Highness, please try. Try. Ha! Ezekiel Beya, the fort of the Zera Kingdom. Prince, you've not told me why you suddenly want us to leave from where we are. Educate. I'm having a bad feeling. Something is not right. I'm worried about my father. 
I was asked to come to the palace immediately. I feel like something is wrong. It's good to be worried about him, but you should also understand that every mother falls sick. And your father, the king, is not an exception. EJK, this is not about his sickness. This is about something else. Wishes. You see, something bothers my father, and he has refused to talk about it. I think your father, the king, is unhappy that he's not strong enough to discharge his duty as the king of the kingdom. EJK, sometimes you forget what I studied. I know, psychology. Fine, then you should believe me when I tell you something is wrong. Listen, my father is very discreet. He's very, very private. He lets you know what he wants you to know. And right now, he doesn't want to speak. So I'm worried. Chichiki called me and asked me to quickly come to the palace. What could that be? I don't know. Please, you need to hurry up. Okay, my okay. please. Why is everyone looking so dejected? The elders are waiting for you in your father's room. My father? But I spoke to my father this morning. Vera, what is happening? <laughs> Why is no one saying anything? Is everything okay? Why is everyone looking sad? Who go? What's going on? Are you deaf? If you know what is good for you, keep away from my children. If you want to know what is going on, ask others, not my children. So because of this simple question, that's why you're shouting at the crown prince of Izira Kingdom. Hey, educate that enough. Take a seat. Um, Ugo, I'm not sure why everyone is looking sad, but Ichi K sent for me, so I'll see him now. I just hope all. Others are waiting for you in your father's room.
Greetings, my elders. Greetings, Miss Where have you been? I drove out with my cousin, EJK, to pick up a few things. And I quickly rushed back because I was called by EJK. Is everything okay? Oh, well, there's no need hiding things from you. You are both grown ups. The Igwe is dead and must be buried this night as tradition demands. I advise you to take heart. You are men. What? Oh no. Yes. I was with my father this morning. He assured me everything is fine. What do you mean he's dead? Well, <clears throat> oh, oh no. Yes. Are you sure the king is dead or sleeping? I mean, have, have you checked him properly? Well, that is life for you. Did your father discuss anything about our traditional stool? I'm trying to understand you, Ono. Your father is lying motionless in there. And his era has ended. Did he tell you who you are? Did he? Tell you your condition in the palace? Oh, no. Yes. I have a question for you. Go ahead. Were you not among the elders? My father told in confidence that I am. His first blood? Yes, of course. And as such, I must remain in the palace. That's true. Well, in case you have forgotten, on behalf of my late father, the king, I want to reiterate that I am my father's first son. And nothing can change that. And didn't he tell you anything about the traditional stool of Israel kingdom and how it has been taken, didn't he? Well, we didn't discuss the stool. But I can remember vividly, he said to me, he would like to discuss something very important when I come back this morning. Well, it's quite unfortunate that the king is dead. And it is the taboo for you to see your father at this time, it is against our tradition. It is only your younger brother who will see your father to perform the final traditional rite before his burial. Oh no! That is impossible! That will not happen in this palace! I know who I am. I carry the blood of the king. I belong here. I am royalty. And since my father didn't tell me anything, no one, no man, born of a woman, can stop me from seeing my father's corpse before he gets buried. And I want to warn all of you to be very careful. I understand this is a conspiracy, but I'll never let that happen. Uh, calm down, my friend. 
Highness, please calm down. Eh? Your father, the king, failed in his duties to stretch your neck. Don't worry, we are going to handle this the way we suppose. There's something I'll tell you when we're done. I don't need any explanation from you. Like I said before, I understand this is a conspiracy. And I know exactly where it's coming from. It is coming from my father's wife, your mother! But I'll never let it happen. This is a conspiracy! Because how can my little brother perform the ritual when I'm still alive? Does that make me an outcast? Does that mean I do not belong here? Does that mean the stool will be shifted from me? Is this the plan? Is this your plan behind my back? Praise Joker. You are disturbing the dead. Are you Force yourself. Unless you want us to leave you to bury your father. And we shall all leave. Damn. When the Umwada arrive, you will have to explain to them why the body of your left father has not been buried. Prince Tuka, let me remind you. It is not in your position to perform the ritual. To the community, you are the king's first son. But for royalty, Ugochuku is the first son. You better understand that and stop dragging issues. Prince Ugochuku, please come in and perform your father's final traditional rite before his burial. Come. I say, come. Traditional rite. Right. Okay. Let us leave. Prince Tuka. You can go in there and bury your father if that is what you want. Someone called me and told me to come home. This is true. This is true. The sickness has finally taken over my father. As good as my father, no one, no one even comes close. <sighs> this sickness has never allowed him to enjoy his family and his life. What is this? What is this? <sighs> Chuka, what is he doing there? Is he supposed to be there when anything should be done? I don't know. Does he not know who he is? Shut up your mind there and mind the way you talk about Chuka. He is the king's first son. There's nothing anyone can do about it. The king died this morning and I've not been tired. So you all should mind your words. Unless you're ready for boss, boss, boss. Oh, please shut up! 
Who are you? Who invited this hungry fool here? You have been a problem to my siblings and I. But watch out and see how the drama plays out. What the hell are you doing in my father's palace? Get out! You fit? You'll be the one to get out! Sandra. Sandra, please. Your father is lying lifeless in his room and will be buried today by midnight. I urge you to calm down. There are things you don't listen to. Abra Milini Nezula Chelia. By the end of today, we will know who is called. You had that right? Oh, please shut up! Oh, please. Let's just calm down, okay? We don't have to let the community see us as fools. Living in a fool's paradise. Please, let's just stop this. Just because of one stupid idiot. Who is performing my father's traditional rites? I hope it's my brother or nobody else! Look where, man! What the hell are you doing here? And who are you to ask me that question? Is this not my father's palace? And my father's room. What right do you have to question me, you illegitimate son of a- Now listen, I'm listening good. I've had enough of your excesses. The next time you talk to me like that again, I'm going to suffocate you and take breath out of you! My friends, please, please. What is going on here? Young lady, where are you coming from? I... I just... I just came back and I was told that my father the king is dead. I only wanted to make sure that my brother is the one performing the traditional ritual and not this bastard here. He pushed me and slapped me. No, did you hear her? Mike, Mike, please, 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 calm down. Young lady, you have committed an abomination which no one has ever done. The only man who dares to come close to where the king is led should be a murder. By the way, what is your business with whoever others performing the ritual? I know you have returned to Tantos Palace to a war soon when the king dies, which you have already started. I want you to call yourself to order before things will start to happen. And you are hereby find a she-goat, ten to bars of yam, which should be presented immediately. If not, shut up and talk him. If not, we will leave you to bury your father. And it should be presented in the next two hours. I get up and talking within two hours, I said. And get out of this place hey, now! You're not allowed to speak. Get out. You're not allowed to speak. Else, I'll break your neck. Get the hell out! Now! Hundred female she goats and hundred yams as far as you are denied the ritual. My brother is the last king of this kingdom. Nobody! No, yeah, yeah. from the streets. Equata, Equapo. Equapo, Equata, in a mean yanka, stupid. Mother, look at my cheek. 
Chuka slapped me and pushed me simply because I told them my brother should be the one in the room. Can you imagine? Ono will find me a she goat and tend to Basofia. And I will provide it double because I am happy that miserable first son of a bitch has been sidelined and the elders know exactly what they are. How dare you call my brother a miserable first son? But when the drops start beating, don't run. Oh, stop it! You talk to her! Stop beating the drum of war in this palace! Is something wrong with you? Stop it! This drum of war you are beating on this palace will definitely hang on your neck. You don't even belong here. Square bar poor. Square bar poor, could you Hey, you. You call me the chief guard. As for you, I am coming for you. Commander. Commander! Uh, 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 hey! Uh, go to the market and get me ten to pass off your machine. Follow me for the cash. Commander! explain something important to you later. My question to you, Ichir, is why ask me to calm down? After knowing my brother would perform the ritual. Don't worry, my prince. We are only performing the traditional rites which falls on the younger prince. Here. Who's the king's first son? You, of course. The king even announced it to the eminent people of this land. But in the case of this king's death and rituals, you are not even allowed to see the king till he's committed into the mother earth. You lie! Stop telling lies! My father never mentioned all of that to me. You all just been wicked to me! I cannot speak to my father, whom I saw this morning. How dare you! Even his corpse. Prince Duka, let me remind you, if you see your father's corpse, believe me, you will drop dead. If you doubt, you can go in there and see if the gods are working. Let me remind you, there is a serious tradition your father didn't explain to you. They will must keep that tradition. Didn't you see your brother with pant from in his mouth? He won't be able to see nor speak with anyone until seven days are over. That is the tradition in certain ways. Then why am I my father's first son? Are you trying to say my late father will be buried in my absence? Exactly. Right. So that means my right has been taken away from me. No, Prince Chuga, you have your own right. The land has been given to you to build your own house, not palace. Of course you have royal blood, but there is a lacuna. Elders? Let us go. Mm -hmm. 
Close the door behind you. My queen, we the elders will come back by midnight to carry out every last journey of the king. As you, the queen, is advised, therefore, not to go close to the room. Your son will be indoor for seven days. Only the male guards will serve him food. Something funny is playing out, but I won't allow them to conspire against me. My prince, you need to act fast. Don't you know it's a taboo for such a thing to happen and you're just keeping quiet? <sighs> we need to bury the king first. Then I shall strike. Strike like Chukuman's will not banan. So the world will hear your voice. This your father's wife needs to be dealt with. Just keep quiet. HK, let's go. Woto, woto! noticed what has been going on in this palace since we lost our king this morning <laughs> we are here and we are watching <laughs> but I think I will resign huh? yes so I will not be in this palace with princess Vera Mbanu, no way the king is dead and before you know it they will start maltreating the domestic staff Prince. Good afternoon, Ono. I didn't even know that you are the person in the car. <laughs> you know, people don't always know where you're passing by Hello. because of your humble personality. Uh, good afternoon. Hey, uh, you can um, 
Uh, so I, I strongly believe that uh, humility is always the way of life. Yeah. I know. You're right. <laughs> I, I see you're coming from the palace. Yes, I went to see the queen and uh, I equally asked after you to said you went out. Yeah, I stepped out for a minute. Right. My prince, i like us to see one on one. Very urgent. Is everything okay? All right, everything is all right. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll come and visit you. Okay. Soon, yeah. Very soon. All right. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you too. I appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. Have a good day. Same here. Yes. All right. Um, thank you, Kay. All right, bye. Bye. Yeah, take care, sir. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Hold on, hold on, please. Why does this man want to see you? Why does he want to see me? Yes. Isn't he the traditional prime minister of this community? And one of the cool plotters? And you heard him, he said he, he's just coming from the palace and he asked about me. I think you need to calm down, all right? Look, look up, what I'm saying is this. You need to be careful. The queen and the daughter can do anything to waste you. <sighs> AGK, you clearly don't know your brother. You clearly don't know your brother. Listen, I have a very strong spirit. I have a bulletproof mind. All right? I think you need to calm down. Besides, the king is dead and buried. We need to stay calm and let's see how things, you know, unfold. Right? You just have to be careful. Yeah, I am careful. But I'm not scared. I have a bulletproof mind. Like I said, the king is dead and buried. Alright? Okay. We need to relax and watch how things unfold. If you say so. Just chill, all right? Are you sweating, bro? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll just turn on the air conditioner. They need to fix this road, it's really bad. Very, very bad. said she needs to talk and you are questioning her. She is the queen of this kingdom. When she demands an audience, you don't talk, you sit and listen. If you know how much I hate you, You'd stay 10,000 meters away from me. If you know how much I hate you too, you won't talk when the royal bloods are talking. You sit and listen to my mother. Sometimes I wonder if you're my half-sister. <laughs> because you don't even look like me. Oh, really? You don't even look like my father. Oh, uh, really? Yes. You look ugly. Uh -huh. And I see you're the most handsome man in the world. You know, for that. Well, Chuka, I asked for your time because I want to tell you about my new resolution has been to this palace and you are showcasing 
your stupid attitude. Mm -hmm. And our food doesn't fall very far from the tree. I just want to tell you that you need to pack your things and leave. Because this virus will never contain both of us. Would you put my son just preferred his father's final that right? And that should tell me something if you're the type the reason is fast. You're no longer welcome to me. Oh, are you done talking? Like yesterday, yes. Oh, okay. I feel very, very embarrassed. I should be the one to tell you when you're leaving this palace, don't forget to leave with this local Igbo fowl from Onicha. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And don't forget you're talking to the Heir to the throne. I'm still my father's first son. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. want to be bundled. <laughs> and this is Thank you, Father. But I'm not hungry. Father, how are you feeling? I feel better now. You do? Yes, I do. I'm very delighted to hear that. There's something important I'd like to talk to you about. Go ahead. Is there something bothering you? I don't understand you. Father, I have been very, very observant. I can tell you've been acting very strange. Mm. 
that I am sick is enough to bother me. But anyway, I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm fine. I'm very, very fine. Father, is there something I should know that you're not telling me? Is there anything you are not telling me? Your Majesty. Yes. I have been meaning to ask you this question all my life. And I need you to tell me the truth. Am I truly your first son? Do I have a place in this palace? Of course you are. You are my blood. You are a royal blood. Of course you are. You have every right, not just in my palace, but in this kingdom. Yes. Sure. I am seated here telling you that you are my son. You are my first son. And no one can take that away from you. But there is something I want us to talk about. Just give me some time to recover. Fully recover and we'll talk about it. Thank you, Father. You're welcome, sir. Igwe. I have a lame one. Have a good night, rest, Father. Good night, son. Something is definitely wrong somewhere. He has something to tell me. Something really important. But he wants me to wait until it gets better. Never did. The elders refused. I see my father's corpse. The ritual was performed by a little boy. I knew when he was born. The queen just asked me to leave the palace. What exactly is going on? I smell war. I smell war. Listen, all of you. It's time to isolate Prince Choka. I don't even consider him a prince. But why, ma'am? Do not question me next time. Do you hear me? Just watch and see what will happen. If he's your elder brother, why didn't he perform the rituals on your late father? Why? I, I, I don't know, ma'am, but Prince Choka is a very nice person. I mean, what did he do? Now, listen. This should be the first 
and the last time you will call him a prince before me. I don't blame you. I know you will not understand what I am doing, but later you will know that this is all for you. How do you mean, Mom? We can shut the hell up and listen to Mom. Oh, could stop being unnecessarily stubborn. Just listen to Mom and do whatever she says. No, no. I like your stubbornness. Yes. One of the attributes of a good king. But you should listen with obedience and wisdom. Do you understand? Yes, mom. Good. Hi. Good morning, my prince. You're hey, welcome. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Uh, is your dad home? No, he went to see you, chill, man. Or he will soon be back. Oh, okay. My prince, is he aware that you're coming? No, 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 he's not a... Yeah, I, I told him I would visit, but I didn't tell him I was coming today. Oh, okay. Yeah, you mind... Uh... Yeah, I, I will just go and call him for me. All right, good. Please, come and sit. Uh, sure. Sorry for keeping your people waiting. No, that's okay. Uh, I was told you stepped out for a minute. Yes, oh, my prince. Right, okay. You're welcome. <clears throat> my prince. Oh, no. The the king, your late father, discuss everything about the throne and who sits after his reign. Um, oh, no. I would say technically, but not entirely because. He didn't go into details because he wanted to get better first. Mm. And, um, you know, I tried to uh, get him to talk, but he couldn't. Uh, I was there with him on the day of his demise. I, I did everything possible to get him to talk to me, but unfortunately, he didn't say anything until death came calling. Mm. My prince. I know. If that is the case, that's a big problem. problem. If he did not discuss anything about the throne, um, I tell you, the throne does not belong to anyone whose mother did not belong to the palace. I beg your pardon, what has my mother got to do with this? Your father, the late king, did not solve the problem. And since he never did, your younger brother 
Ogochiku who performed the burial rites is now regarded as the original first son. The throne is now for him. <laughs> oh no. Hmm? That's impossible. That will be over my dead body! What nonsense are you saying? I know you have all conspired with the queen to take what's rightfully mine. What belongs to me? But that's okay! I have never seen a tradition who allows a younger brother, king, over his older brother. I didn't mean it's that never done! Ah. Oh no. I have nothing to say. But I want everyone to prepare for war. HK, let's get out of here. Oh no. Mm -hmm. I will advise you to take that woman and those children out of the palace because what is coming is worse than an atomic bomb. Nothing is happening. Listening to you last night, I came back fulfilled. Thank you oh, so thanks much. Thanks to God. Thank you so is much. Is your husband in? Yes, he is. I told him you'll be coming this morning, and he's been waiting for you. Okay. Let me click. Sure, on. sure. Hey, welcome, home. my husband. My husband. We don't know you in this community. Besides, I was born here and I grew up here. But I have not seen anybody that looks like you or that name, Angel. Besides, that house you were living was built for the missionaries years ago. But the church left it there. So, who are you? Am I not a human being? You are. But from what I am saying, you are a special being that settles marital issues and preaches law. I have come to pray the same love to you and your family. I learned you an only son that have refused to allow the will of God be done in his family. I don't understand. You called your wife an Obanji. Oh. An Imamid. Because what is coming out from her mouth is very, very dangerous. She even talked to me as if we are mates. You know she's a woman. And you know how women talk. Oh. Shut up. But I will make sure that stops. Nkiru, the Bible admonishes submission as a way a wife should treat her husband. Not to use your mouth and bring curse to your home. Most women don't even know what marriage is. They just patch into it. Kiri, your husband is your lord. Yes, 
Read your Bible. Even when he is strong, you can still talk to him, but calmly and with respect. Hey. Are you hearing me? Hey, but woman of God, he called me an obanji. Because of how you run your mouth. I'm not an obanji. I think they're calling me obanji. Exactly what I'm talking about. I get this how you talk to him. Let it stop now. Your marriage is barely three years. Three years. And you both want to scatter it with, with lack of understanding. You have failed to agree. And I see a child coming. You both must cling together, walk in oneness and love for this child to come. The next time I shall come here, it shall be for a celebration Amen. and not to resolve issues. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, woman of God, I will not talk to him anyhow again. Eh? I'm a changed person starting from today. I won't talk to him anyhow. <laughs> hey, thank you, Jesus. Mm, <laughs> it is well. Yes. Please, can we not pray? Chineke idima, idima, chuku idima, idima, chuku idima, idima, idiro bimoma. Chineke idima, idima, chuku idima, idima, chuku idima. I don't want you to keep quiet on this. Yes, I know you're not a troublemaker, but this is your right. You need to fight for it. Educate, my prince. I'm not keeping quiet. And I understand my mother is not from here. But traditional sacrifices were made. And my father said to the hearing of the entire community, he told them, I am his first son. So allow me to handle this. I will not allow you to fight this alone. This woman and the elders, I think they have a mission. Educate. We are running late. Like I said, allow me to handle this. We shall see all of this to the end. You're the head of the guards in this palace. Yes, my prince. Chris, henceforth, you take orders only from me and no one else. I won't tolerate any form of disrespect, disobedience, and whatnot. Have I made myself clear? Yes, my prince. Have I made myself clear? Hey! Yes, my Here, Amba. What are you doing there listening to that non-entity? Come here now. Yeah. Are you out of your mind? No, sir. No, Are you prince. mad? I just gave you an instruction, right? Yes, my prince. Are you crazy? Are you mad? Are you crazy? Have you gone bananas? Did you just ignore me? No, no. Hey. Did you not see me? So, who are you? Don't you have manners? Did your mother raise you well? Manners. Really? 
You see, the other day you raised your filthy hands on me. I ignored you because my father's lifeless body was on the process. I swear to God, if you try it one more time, I will show you. Ah! 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 You don't slap me! You don't mad! You don't kiss! You don't joke! What's in the way? GK. My prince. You're fond of calling me a gentleman. I'm sure you saw how gentle I was out there. I was so surprised. That girl should be tied to the wall. What is really happening in this palace? Why we preach Chuka? Beat up his sister in such a manner. Are we being safe in this place? I was looking for a way out to Naza, we all know that Prince Chuka is a gentleman. He's not a troublemaker. And he has been the one caring for our well-being and our welfare. Princess Sandra has been the one looking for trouble. And I love the beating she got. She deserves it. I'm happy for that. Yes. My own is, what is the way forward? We have not been paid for last month. And nobody's what? saying anything about it. My father is sick. And I need to buy him drugs. They can kill themselves, so do I care? <laughs> The late king did not do a job well. If he had done it well, we would not have been here. Oh God, don't blame the king. He invited the village heads and introduced Prince Chuka as his first son. What do you expect him to do? But what actually is the problem? Where is Prince Chuka's mother? Oh God, if you say Prince Chuka, you direct that question to him. Biankiru, all of us, you've said our man did not ever want it. Are you deaf? Or are you a spy? What do you want me to say? Three of you are my seniors in this palace. I can only listen. Now I can get it. You better listen and carefully. Whatever I want, get it. Ah, can you get anything? She's the arrowhead of all this rubbish happening in this palace. If you don't cage her, you're gone. Her mother and brother are next, especially that little boy. His attitude is becoming very unbearable. You need to kill that one to get the throne, but that should be a discussion for another day. EGK, <laughs> I'm not ready to shed blood. I'm not interested in taking anyone's life. But one thing I'm certain about, the royal stool is mine. It's not going to anyone else. King was still alive. It's not as if he starts today. We all have been witnessing it. So, what will happen when she comes back? No, well, thank God she's not around. She and her other children are not around. Especially that um, Vera with, with his neck tongue. I hate that girl. 
I mean, I mean, the Katara, the girl. I, I hate her. I hate her so much. Very disgusting being. What is even my business? Well, when she comes back, then we see her reactions. Is she going to kill Prince Juka? No. Other things like what? All of you urchins were busy watching that useless Chuka insult me instead of minding your business. Hmm? If you don't finish those clothes in less than minutes, I might not sit for us. I'm fine. I heard the melodious tone of your voice from far away. Yes. <laughs> uh, do you know that those in the farm, even the wine tapas, okay. they all hear your voice? <laughs> uh, how do you know? We live in the village and discuss events and things. They're happy you are here. They are. But uh, they don't know who you are. Since this house was built years ago for the white missionaries, uh, who was said to be buried all around this house. <laughs> I only came to tell people about Christ and his salvation and also about the life and peace that it brings. Do you know that there are a lot of homes are gnashing their teeth in pain? Okay, if you know such a family, please bring them to me. I will. If they hear the word of God, their lives will be transformed. I will. I will bring them. I will. Um, I brought food for you. Eh? You are always here all alone. Do you even go to the market? I mean, how do you feed? <laughs> Thank you for the food. You are such a wonderful lady. I appreciate this. God bless you. God bless your kind heart. Thank you. 
Everything about me is spiritual, Kiro. You won't know it all. But all I will tell you is that I am a human being like you. <laughs> and my mission here is to liberate the people of Ezira. And that's how we do. What happened? I don't like your mood. Oh, don't worry, Sandra. What's happening? I don't know. Mama, what? I don't know what's wrong with Sandra. She's not saying anything. Sandy? Okay. You, you are crying. What, what is it? What happened? Chukan, that stupid Ajika beat me up. What? what? Beat you up? Wow, woo! <laughs> you, you mean Ajika, Chuka's cousin? And the Chuka. <laughs> wow, woo! <laughs> I knew it. I knew that this day will come. I begged your father to write a will. But he wouldn't listen. However, he refused. He refused. And now, Chuka. This is a bit in his plans. Not while I'm still living. Not while I'm still breathing. God, 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 God! <laughs> Where is that stupid chief back? Oh, you are here, you silly fool. You were in this palace when Chuka, the son of a bitch, beat up my sister like she is a daughter of a nobody. What exactly do you do in this palace? Nothing but to finish our food. Of what use are you, I ask you? Chief Garden, the Allah, fool. Someone you were supposed to protect was beaten up like a daughter of a nobody and you couldn't do anything. And you, what are you doing here? My princess, I came to tell him something. Oh, I've heard so much about you already. 
I was told that you were nothing in this palace but a Keziah. That your towel scratches you every minute. Yes! But you know what? I will be the one to throw you out of this palace. Get out of my sight! And let the man concentrate! The queen wants to see you. Fool. I said it, you guys thought I was joking or something. I hate her. And I hate her again. She doesn't have manners at all. Look at the way she was talking to us. She even refers to her girl as a, as a Keziah. What nonsense. That part she called her Keziah got me. Uh, Keziah, is it an English word? True. Hey, mama. Oh, hold on. Let me explain to you. Keziah. Chief guy. Keziah is a shara. I mean, a pleasant giver. A cheerful giver. Uh, a lady, a woman, a girl that gives with her all her mind. She open at any time. There's nothing like, let me think about it, or drop while in the additional. Um, did you get it? I still don't understand you. Yeah. Okay, if Konji who you, like if she refers to her girl, you call her girl, you tell her one or two, she will not say, let me think about it, or about it. She will just say, let's go. She will even drag you to room. When I appear the thing, you know, that's case. I have simple, as simple as ABC, the case. I I don't understand. You are looking so. I don't understand. I be me go go lam, Kezaya. Oh, so let me go answer the question. Like all these things. I can't see myself taking this. I just can't see myself taking this. I can't call. Don't. Your Majesty. Trace. You are the third one. You are the head guard. You are here and watch Chuka lay his filthy hands on my daughter. You couldn't beat him. Why? Your Majesty, he's a prince and there's nothing we can do. Who made him a prince? Who pays the bill there? Are you the one that crowned him a prince? What is your job? You watched a lunatic lay his filthy hands on the original first fruit from the king's groin and he did nothing? I'll so deal with all of you. All of you! Your Majesty, with due respect, Prince Chuka is a prince in this palace. The king said so. Do not think I'll lay my hands on him on behalf of anyone. I see. Conspiracy. I felt it. I sensed this coming. Oh, really? Chris, I want you to go to your room, pack everything that belongs to you, and leave before I do something stupid. You cannot protect my children. What are you doing? What are you doing here now? Get out! Get out! I hate you all! You hate you. I hate you. I hate you with everything in me. I hate you! Put him. Um, mom. I mean, I don't think there's enough reason for you to fire. I mean, I'd rather have you give him a warning, never to allow that happen again. Please, shut your mouth up and sit down. Oh, God, you I said you should sit down now. For real? Sit down. Gochiku, you don't know how to talk. Why will you blame mother for doing the right thing? I mean, that is not enough reason for him to be sacked. And that is not his job. As a god, he knows his limits. And remember, we need him for security reasons. Shut your mouth up. You are Wusa. We need him for security reasons. Which security are you talking about? Was he not here when your sister was beaten up? What did he do? It seems we are going to leave all these things to you. You need to carry this cross alone. And trust me, 
Chuka who eat you raw. You think I'm doing all these protections because of the royal state alone? Because of your own safety as well. Just get that. Mom, don't mind him. We'll go listen. You need to be strong. Show him that you are a man. Yes, he shouldn't touch any of your sisters or talk to your mother the way he likes. These are your obligations. Push ahead and we shall follow. We just a scout for you if you don't know. He wants the throne. He needs it. Father knew it. He knew he wouldn't sit on it. And that was why he kept mute till he died. You go to who you are the original royal blood. Mother and father came from this community, but Chick's mother came from an evil tribe. And there is no reason he should not be allowed to sit on that throne. Fight for it! No one here knows my mind. I will protect this palace with every ounce of my being. Chuka laid his filthy hands on my sister and I ignored him the first time. That will not happen again. Mm -hmm. the spirit! He should not push me. I will not take this again. Mm -hmm. That is what I want to hear from you. You are the son of my youth. Mm. Just push your head! Push! And we'll come out. A good night. Don't let me up. And I won't change in Angas. Eh? What can he be a Kwaman or Bruno? Oh, Push! Still thinking about what happened at the bankers. What happened? Your step sister that assaulted you. Prince Shuka, the heir to the throne of his hero kingdom. AGK. My prince. Ignore her. I'll handle it. No, she lacks respect. I must be dealt with. But one more thing, my prince. I think we should find a way to face the queen. I sense danger. AGK. My prince. As far as I'm concerned, there is no queen. Do you know where we're going to? No, you only told me you're going somewhere. We're going to see the know. Educate, remember I told you strange things are happening. We're going to find out. We're going to see the unknown. They're trying to play games. Well, I don't care. All I know is that my cousin brother, Prince Shuka, must be the king of Izira Kingdom. Why are you sitting there like someone who just lost his wife? What is the difference? He's not different from someone who just lost his job. I don't understand. What do you mean by he just lost his job? The queen asked him to leave because he could not beat up his sugar. Is this what has been happening? Has the queen given him your salary? That is exactly what I'm waiting for. Let her pay me so I can leave. But no, now, no, now. You can't leave. The king employed you to be his son's personal dad. It's just that the prince prefers the complaint of his cousin. And he also made you the Edgar. So you just can't live like that now. No. We all know the prince is very humble, but he doesn't want to be humiliated by the queen's arrogance and that of her children. Now, please, just wait for him. Please. Please. 
if you ask me, I think Ogoya is right. We really have to wait. I wait for him. But that does not mean I'll keep working here and be receiving insults from them. He says, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. You want to live too? Oh no. I called for you to get other elders to come tell Choka to stop beating my children because he has learned the craft of beating my children at will and I will not take it. You know my venom is deeper than pain. It's deeper than that. I am complaining today. Trust me, I will not complain tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much. Ma, mm. I think we need to do something concerning this ejector of a guy. He is beginning to cross his boundaries in this palace. Chuka trusts his cousin so much. We need to act fast, mom. I don't know. He poses a threat. He's so relaxed. I see if this is his father's palace, like the king is his father. He goes out of this palace at three and comes in the way he likes. Mom, no, we need to stop him. We need to stop him. Vera, mom, relax. I'm still the queen of this kingdom. I'm not a stranger. I have my cards crossed very close to my chest. Okwakana! <laughs> Okwakana! Interesting. Oh. Mom, you mind showing me the cards? Not yet. When the time comes. So allow a GK to enjoy it while it lasts. Hmm? Where's my son? Oh, Mom. He's in his room. Mm. But right now, Mom, he is angry. Yes, he's not comfortable at all concerning what took place today. Well, I could feel the venom in the tone of his voice. Mm. He would definitely deal with Chuka this time. That's the spirit. <laughs> if we do not instigate him that way, he won't be in the game. We need to suck him in the game. Very well. That's the spirit. <laughs> ha! My prince, she called me before your arrival. I don't want you to do such rascality. They are your sisters. They are women. You should avoid them. Just be ignorant of what they are doing. Forget them. Ignore them until the heavens fall. I have decided to give them war. And I'm not going back. My priest, there are things you would do that will attract the wrath of the gods. I don't want you to touch your sisters or beat them. They have royal blood. And there are things that you would do that will attract a lot of attention in this community. Oh no. When I got back to this kingdom, my father introduced you to me as one of his closest friends. And that's true, my prince. Good. If my father did not lie about how close both of you were, then I strongly believe you have certain information about the things that bothered him before his demise. Hmm. My prince. Oh no. Remember you took my brother to perform a serious ritual. And you asked me not to see my father's corpse before he got buried. 
With due respect, Ono, I'm here to find out why. My prince, it is public about who you are and how the king fathered you. As a king and your father, there are certain things he should have told you, but he did not. And it will be a taboo for me to start divulging in some of those things. Uh, no. In other words, you are refusing to tell me what I should know. Hey, no, no, hell no. No, 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 no. It's not true. All right. I assure you that there shall be no peace in that palace. I give you my word. My prince, the gods would fight you. I advise you to stay calm till we start talking about the throne. As I talk to you now, as I'm talking to you now, no community has crowned anybody after one year. And I don't want you to do anything stupid that will incur the wrath of the gods. Oh no. Yes. But my kid brother has done everything to incur the wrath of the gods. What then would the gods do? My prince, my advice is for you to come down. We all will come together. And for now, I will advise you to allow the king to rest in peace, please. It's a real comedy. You want to beat me? Educate. Don't forget to come out early tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Remember to stay calm when they begin to act stupid. I'll try my best. There's a lot you can do in silence. early tomorrow, okay? Get my mother's name off your mouth. Excuse me? Are you jealous of her? Your mother is an idiot. Do you even have a mother? Don't you ever lay your filthy hands on my sister again. Else. You don't even belong here. Father gave you a land and told you that this palace belongs to my brother. What are you still doing here?
I'll advise you kids to warn your mother <laughs> never to stand in my way again. And if she does not give her the money, then what will you do? What will you, you do? do? You think it's over? What is will you do? What will you do? What will you do? What will you do? Do your worst! Do your worst! Do your Beat her up again! Do it! I want to see it! I want to witness it! Do it! Tell your daughter <laughs> to get her hands off my royal coat. X? <laughs> it's expensive. Oh, so what? Steve! <gasps> You're gonna beat her again? <gasps> Sit down. Thank you. God bless you. Mm. You're welcome. He came, Macali, he came, 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 he came on, 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 you are the God, God of wonders, he came on, he put you on a digelan, he put you put you where of you one day. You are the God, God of wonders. Hey, he came in. He came on, he came on. Yes, he came on, yes, he came on. You are the God of wonders. He came in. Standing that far, I see a lot of fears over you. Are you okay? Come in and sit. I'm not 
I, I, I can't come into a house where my father told me of all the dead people that were buried around here. The last being a white woman whom the king ordered for her to be stoned. And she was buried in a shallow grave. That's where you want me to. Mm -mm. <laughs> you are the God, God of all water. You gave me. <laughs> You are the God of wonder. What's your name, young lady? My name is Tidera. Do you know whose daughter whom you sent for? Oh. Fit here and be blessed and be cleansed just like others. <laughs> the entire village have committed laws of atrocities, of which your own father, your know, is fully involved. Come in, this place can only favor you. Drop your fears, drop your fears. Hey! <laughs> You are the God, <laughs> God of wonders, hey. You are the God, God of wonders, Chine mi esirike. Anya muncha uzo, ike me. Onu muncha kwoku, ike mo. Uku muncha kiche, yeah, ike mo. Nti muncha ni, yeah, ike me. You are the God of all impossibilities. That's why I call you Keme. Makani di Kemo. Wachenda berebo. Kemo. I cannot want more. Kemo. O tu tempuro bi ke daramba ikemo o mi esirike we the cabinet chiefs will no longer tolerate prince chuka laying his hands on these children it must stop henceforth you will be banished from this palace if such report come up again. Your late father showed you a land outside the palace where you will build your own house. Listen, the palace belongs to your younger brother, Prince Ugochuku. If you were a snake, I'd call you a black mamba because you are very deceitful in nature. You act like a chameleon. You are not a straightforward individual. I know you like the back of my hand. I have been observing you very calmly. I have been to your house severally, but you keep running away from the truth. My question to you is, why did my late father, the king, Mention to everyone that I am his first son, but refused to do same for Ugochuku. I need answers. I know that this will come up one day, but I don't care. 
What you had wanted me to say is just simply the same thing your father should have told you, but he refused to say it till he died. But I tell you one, tradition remained the same. Prince Chuka, you were there when Prince Ugochiku carried out the very tradition on the king when he was lying dead. Mm. Does that not mean anything to you? That's a very funny question. Why should it mean anything to me? When you told me it was tradition, did you expect me to argue with you? Please, 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 please. Let us be very careful in handling this issue before it becomes another thing. Yeah? I mean, these are two brothers from the same groin, sons of the same man, the same king. Our king got Prince Chuka from his lover, whom he would have married if not for the king's father, who insisted that Ego Amaka will not be married into his palace. In the process of trying to weaken his father's stand, our king got Ego Amaka pregnant. But the king still insisted that he would not change his mind. So, Ego Amaka gave birth to Chuka in her father's house. Then, Chuka grew up. The king brought him into this palace and pronounced him his first son. So what I'm saying is let us allow these two princes to live as brothers that they are. Enough is enough. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Not in this lifetime. I say again. You heard me. They can never live as brothers. When the king married me, Chuka's mother planned with some boys to beat me up on the road and almost stripped me naked. Oh no, you were aware of that. That's right. Am I right? Yeah. So that hatred still lives in him. I do not want my son to be poisoned. In fact, I do not want any sort of relationship with them. Please. We all know that Chuka is the first son of the king. But according to the tradition, my son is the heir to the throne of Ezira. And I do not know why all of you are here biting your tongues. I concur with my mother. We do not want to have anything to do with him. Since father already gave him a land, let him go and build his house. No, <clears throat> he can't leave. He will stay with us for now until he built his own house because he's still the king's son and as a royal blood. But what I'm saying is Prince Chuka should stop harassing the children. And then your cousin brother is not part of the king's children and he should stop entering this compound henceforth. Objection! Oh no. I totally disagree with you. AGK is my cousin brother. His father is my mother's elder brother. As such, he belongs here. You can't ask me to stop AGK from coming to the palace. That is completely impossible. Maybe I need to remind you old men that the queen, or whatever she calls herself, must be reminded that her reign is over because my father, the king, is dead. We shall see who remains in the palace, or who leaves. Ooh. 
Was that your voice I just heard? Yes, my prince. Vera and Sandra, stop me from getting into the palace. AJK, you need to calm down. You must understand that no one likes us in this palace. Everyone is against me. The owner who said I must stop you from entering the palace. But I told him he has no right to say that. Even if my father rises from the grave, he can't stop you from coming to the palace. I said those words to him in plain English. Ejike, I came back to this kingdom after five years. My father never taught me tradition. He never told me who was going to be king after him. And now he is dead. These men are trying to play games. <laughs> but it's okay. I have a plan B. Plan B? What plan B? Oh no! I don't like the way you are going about this issue. Stop sowing seed of discord and hatred in the lives of these children. Telling Chuka to stop his brother from coming here. I mean, this is his father's palace. And nobody should deny him that. Ichi you're not a good man. I've been watching you. As no can you make a tea here, Bunun Kataniru Wioku. I have been seeing all your contributions, even when the king was still alive. You brought Ega Maka to the king to marry because he was your childhood friend, but it didn't work out. Now you are scheming for Chuka to be crowned king over my son, who is legitimate. It won't work. Believe me, it will not work. Not while I'm still alive. Jacinta. That is my name. Jacinta. Jacinta Kenta. Yes. Abu Mezira. Abu Mezira. That is my name. You have been on my neck. I have been calling me names even before the king when he was alive. And I have been ignoring you. But I warn you, woman, be careful. Be very careful with me. You cannot swallow Chukuka. Yes. Chukuka is the Igwe's son. See, the tradition made it impossible for us to crown him king. Because there was no marriage between the mother and the Igwe. But still, he is Igwe's son. So stop pestering his life. Let him be! Well, Chuka is a threat to my life and the life of my sisters. So I would like him to pack out of this palace at once. My mother is already developing high blood pressure because of him. But she gone water. Oh, please don't shish him! Why don't you pack out of the palace? Must you remain here? Iche, with all due respect, I don't like the way you're talking to my brother. Yeah. He has a right to his own palace. First place belongs to him and not Chuka. Yeah, I bet See, let me tell you. Chuka is the Igwe's first son. First son. And there's nothing any of you can do about it. No matter how you put it, he is the first son. It remains like that. Well, we're not arguing that. But he's been given a land. We're ready to give him money to establish. So why drag in the palace to give him his money? Go. 
This is unusual. This is not you. You have refused to talk to anyone after the meeting with the elders. Tell me, what's the problem? I want to ask you a question. Okay, I'm listening. Why does Chuka want to take what belongs to me? I mean, why would father bring back such a problem to me? Is that all? Yes, that's all. I really want to know because I'm getting even more furious every day. Okay, I have an answer to that. Well, let me tell you something. Chuka is evil. He is heartless. He is dangerous. He is poisonous. He is capable of taking one's life. And I want to tell you something. Kill him before he kills you. Chuka is not my brother. I can never have such a wicked brother. Never. That's the spirit. But I want you to calm down. Yeah. I assure you that at the end of this whole struggle, you will definitely come out victorious, okay? Just calm down. Cheer up, bro. Cheer up, cheer up. Okay. Ichioma, that woman has been seeing me as a threat since she got married into the palace. I remember many years ago, one day I was walking around our village stream. The king freshly returned from Sweden where he acquired his masters on international relations. The young prince met Ego Amaka as she came to the stream to fetch water with some friends, he fell in love with her instantly. He told his father, the king, who bluntly refused because Ego Amaka's father was the head warrior that fought our kingdom during that land dispute that we lost our sons and daughters. Do you remember? You are very correct. Mm -hmm. The young prince had a rough war with the father who still insists it cannot happen. He got a girl, Maka, pregnant to weaken the king. But the strong king still insists that that will be over his life. Later, Chukuka was born. Ego Amaka named him Chukuka Suniike. She later got married to an Ohafia man. Though she died a few years later during childbirth. And the king later decided to bring back his son because he's of the royal blood. Yes. <laughs> we all know the story. But that is not the point. And what is the point? Good. The point is. Chukuka cannot be crowned the king. You must vacate the palace for Prince Ugochuku. Because the queen is not comfortable with him around her children. That is the point. I know Chukuka cannot be crowned king because the bride price of his mother was not paid. But is he contesting for the kingship? Oh, yes, he is. That is the point. Is I mean, that is the, the, the area he's headed for. I will advise you call him to order and let him know he is a born away. A child like that should know his limits within the palace. Oh yes. Oh yes. But something is bothering me and I want us to talk about it. What is it? You know Uki, Emeka's wife? Yes. Papa, she sent for me. And I went to see her. She told me a certain lady was asking after me. I also went to see the lady today. But can you believe that this lady stays alone in the old missionary house? She has a piano and sings. When I got there, she asked me to come in. 
I said no. I told her that I cannot step my foot into that house. I told her all the stories you told me about that place. But, but that is not even the issue. What is it? What is the issue? The issue is that she asked me to tell you to remove your hand from barbaric tradition. Since I left there, my mind has not been at peace with that statement. Ah, you said the lady is in the missionary house where all kind of white missionaries were buried. Yes, Papa. And he said I should remove my hands from barbaric tradition. Yes, Papa Ushi. How do I know? That house was built in the year 1904, exactly the year Namdi Azikiwe was born. Bishop Anu, the first Igbo man that's a bishop, came and dedicated the house. So we left it for numerous missionaries. And um, some of them came stopping a lot of things. Well, some left, and those who did not leave they died and they were buried in the same compound. But this particular lady you're talking about, I don't know who she is. I don't know. Hi! Why didn't AGK use his left hand to remove all the teeth in her mouth? This Vera doesn't have fail. Mm. Hey! I expected AGK to land that slap, mm -hmm. just as Spring True can normally does. <laughs> She's lucky, oh. It seems he has a brighter day today. Does she even have strength? Does she? My own is, AGK should avoid them. He should avoid them, to avoid a story that touches the heart. Because if she faints, we are still the one that will cook and take to the hospital. So, that one aside. Girls, have any of you received your salary for the month? I have, but it wasn't complete. Eh? Hey. How come? You? Hey, mine was complete. Why is yours not complete? Who gave you the salary? It's Vera. Yeah. Hey, devil, talk of the devil. Tell me one bad attitude left for that girl to possess. All the bad attitude in this life, oh, yeah, a one. Eh? But wait, though, let her not go near my salary. Let her shadow, eh? Let her skeleton not near my salary. The other day, she emptied a glass of wine on me. Uh, eh? it. No, yeah. Hey. But you see now, if she nears my salary, the tone that I will fire her. This is a very nice drink. Yes. <laughs> Imported. I'm telling you. I'm going to talk about that. Back to the issue. This is a very strange news to me. Hmm. A young lady living at the old missionary house. Hmm. I can't believe this. Listen, I saw her with my very two eyes. Hmm. She sings and prays her God with a piano. Her voice nearly converted me to her own white man's court. This is like a joke. Uh, that young woman, is she aware that in that old missionary house that the whole compound is a burial ground? That many souls are buried within that compound? I think I was um, about 17. When the last Reverend Father, uh, Reverend Father Marius, who was a British, was buried there, is she aware? We are the custodian of culture and tradition. So we mustn't fold our hands and watch things go wrong. Sure. Whoever that young lady is, 
spirit or human must be forced to vacate our premises. For some time now, we have been experiencing people missing from our community. Just last week, last week here, Okoko complained of how his son got missing. I'm aware. She may be a human hater who came in the name of singing. And I am very sure she is not unconnected with the unfolding events. You are right, Ichiel Me. Though I have not turned along that line. But I advise you people to come and see for yourself. Let's go immediately. Is there anything we're doing? Um, oh no, get ready. Yes, let's, let's go. go. Let me um Chidera. Chidera. Bring my cap, my walking stick, and my shoe. Even my cap, uh, yes, my feet. Please go. And please go. The fire. You sent for my daughter Chidera to come, and that strange woman. Do you know her? No, no, I don't know her. I was hearing voice and melodies. Um, I started searching for who she might be. Then I discovered there was a woman, a young woman living in the missionary house. I started making inquiry to know who she is. And she would tell me, I'm a human. She was in my house the other time, always preaching about uh, peaceful coexistence amongst the communities. People do gather there too, and she will pray for them. You mean people gather at the old missionary house? Yes, in mine. They do. Do they even know that place is filled up with graves? Do they even know who she is? And even you. Who goes there to see her and allow her into your house? Do you even know if she's a spirit? No, no, nah, she's not a, a spirit. Eh? She eats my food, drinks water. Yes, drinks water. Maybe she's an um, evangelist moving around there, uh, preaching the gospel. I think. Um, I can see you are returning from the farm. Yes, okay, you can now go home. We will do the rest of the findings. Oh no, is eh? this her property? That's the piano she sings with. It seems she has gone back to wherever she came from. How could she live without taking along this piano? I don't know whether she came with it or she bought it at an furniture before coming. Why are you men drawing back? Uh, 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 are you both afraid? No, no, we are just being cautious. Eh? We are just being cautious. You are the know. You have to be first and we follow. So that if the spirits are slapping, you will be the first to collect as you know that you are. Eh? Just be moving. We are behind you. Greetings. The decision deciders of Ezira Kingdom. And the kingmakers, you are welcome. Can you imagine? She called us decision deciders and kingmakers of Israel Kingdom. How did she know who we are? I have been given the gift to know the truth and to see what is happening and what is about to happen. Do not be afraid. I have only come for liberation. Liberation of who? The entire village and the evil thereof. You elders have soiled your hands with evil. And it must stop now. Ta! Will you shut up? 
You don't talk to elders like that. Who are you and where did you come from? Who did you consult before coming here? Well, this is my abode. This is where the past missionaries stayed. And it has been like this. No one can send me out of this place. For I have the right to live here among the dead and preach the love of Christ. So do not ignite the fire you are trying to put on. Don't. For even in the spiritual realm, you may never, you may never be forgiven. Elders, this is strange. She said we want to put fire. Where? How? When? She speaks in parable. Did she grow wings and flew away? And where is she to tell us the fire we are ignited? Where is she? Uh, we need to make some consultations on this. Let's get out of here at once. Oh no, let's go. Eh? Ah, but the spirit is beautiful. Very beautiful spirit. Let's go. Oh no. Eh, go before they slap you. I know why you are here. Those men and their grandfathers are the problem of this community. They are holding the entire village hostage in some barbaric traditions. <laughs> but I shall dismantle it. So that souls here will be happy. Souls. Yes, souls. Some were stoned to death because they tried to stop the barbaric tradition. Some were stoned to death because they preached Jesus Christ. Some were stoned to death because they summoned courage and confronted the evil king. Some were poisoned and were also thrown to the evil forest. Lots of them were buried here. <laughs> Their offsprings, which are the elders that came already stepped their feet in the same protocol. I want to ask, how did you know all these things? How? I also belong here, Nkiru. I see fear. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I will take you to my father. Take you to my father's house so you don't think I'm some spirit. My name is Angel Ijoma Boniface. I'm a human being like you. Sit. Come and sit down. There is something I will tell you. Oh, sit. I should sit. Sit. I. Uh, you are pregnant. Eh? <laughs> yes, I'm pregnant. But how on earth did you manage to know about that? How? How is it possible? I also know the man that got you pregnant. It's not Emeka, your husband. Nkiru, you are two weeks pregnant. Um, and that's one of the evil that must be put to a stop in the land. Um, Emeka, my husband, is not man enough. He is not. He's an only son. 
His mother lost all her children except him. He has only one testicle at birth. She told me everything and begged me not to leave. She said, I can get someone to get me pregnant. It's a top secret between both of us. That woman killed her husband. Jesus. Yes, she poisoned him. And the curse is following her. Are you aware? No. No, no, no. I am not aware. Not at all. You have to bring her. She will undergo some prayers and also ask God for mercy. If not, even the child in your womb will die. Chimo! Not my child. No, not my child. No. Bring her. Bring her here. I shall speak with her and tell her what to do. I want to live eternal. Oh Lord, please save my soul. I want to live eternal life with you. Oh Lord. I want to live eternal life. Oh, Lord, please save my soul. Oh, Lord, I want to live eternal life. Please, Lord, save my soul. Eternal, eternal life. Oh, eternal, eternal life. I want Leave it and alive. Oh, Lord, come and save me, Lord. Yes, Lord, we want to leave it and alive. Please, Lord, save me. I want to leave it and alive. Lord, please save my soul. Yahweh, I want to live eternal life with you. Hey. I want to spend my days with you. With you and you alone. Lord, we want to live eternal life and spend my days with only you. Honestly, if not for my fight and the way I follow things up in this palace, the late king, your father, would have changed the constitution of this community. Years ago, in this royal home, the same thing happened. The then king, your late grandfather, had wanted to do the same, but the chiefs fought against it. Hmm. Chuka to be crowned king in this palace, with all this his arrogance. <laughs> oh. I wonder what will happen to us. I fired the chief guard. He retained him. Just that Ono had pleaded. Else I would have told him or shown him why I am still the queen of Ezira. Well, Ichiome is someone to be trusted. Because he was the only one who held... Your father so tightly that he couldn't do what he had wanted to do. And that would have favored Chuka. One day they were discussing and I was eavesdropping and peeping on them. 
I have made my decision, and no one can alter it. I cannot sit and watch someone ridicule my son. He is my chosen one. The one to take after me when he might have joined my ancestors. Your Majesty, with all due respect, let me inform you that this decision you have just made shall not see the light of day. Oh yes. I will not be afraid of your office as king not to tell you the truth when you are strained from it. Chuka is just a product of mere relationship out of love. Need I remind you, your majesty, that Ego Amaka's bride price wasn't paid and that makes it illegitimate. The only son we recognize as a heir to the throne is Ugochiku, whose mother's bride price was paid according to our culture and tradition. So you are now the one deciding for me. Your Majesty, I am not deciding for you. I am only trying to let you see reason you shouldn't go ahead with what you have decided. And should you insist, you will leave me with no choice than mobilize the people against you. So the king wants to amend the tradition. Yes, my queen, and he meant it. I guess you know why. Of course I do. Don't bother, because I won't allow it to happen. Our culture is as old as man. When the time comes, I shall mobilize the people against him. And as for that boy called Chuka, he will never be recognized as long I remain a member of the king's cabinet. All right. Can I count on you? Of course you should. I believe in the collective agreement of the people. The king has the power to do so. Yes, but that is not going to happen this time. The you, man. Please, you have to stand your ground. If anything happens, if that boy is given that opportunity, I'm gone. You can count on me. I will do my best. Well, Ichume tried. He tried so much. That was why the king, your late father, was unable to do the pronouncement. And it would have favored Chuka. He stood his ground. And I tried too. My dears, anywhere you see Ichiome, greet him very well. He's a good man, an honest man. Hmm, but, Mother, I thought Ono also stood on it. Yes, he did. But Ichiome is the only person amongst all of them who can look the king, your late father, in the face and state what he wants to say fearlessly, without blinking an eye. Honestly, he's a man indeed. I would go and give him my own foul. The story gladdens my soul. I love men who are men. So you mean, father wanted to change the constitution because of a child he got out of wedlock? Does father love Chuka that much? Go to his grave and ask him. Well, my dear, if you must know, the saying that says once the first love, always the first love. I believe that he transferred the love he had for Chuka's mom as his first love to Chuka. Whether he loves him so dearly, he would have done that. The man laid a curse on you. 
and it has affected you and your children. Losing your nine children is as a result of your selfishness. And now you want to have a grandchild in the wrong way. I don't want You that. have even planned to poison the man that got her pregnant. I don't want my husband's lineage to end. Though he was maltreating and tormenting me. That is why I poisoned him. Your heart is black. You are wicked. I did that and nobody knew. I was surprised when my daughter-in-law here told me about it. I have to hurry here. As I am talking to you right now, my late husband visits me every midnight. And most of times, even in the daytime, he comes to attack me in the daytime. I don't know what to do. At a point, I had to call my daughter-in-law here in Kiro to go look for a way to have a child for the family. She loves you. Wondering how many women that can do this to save their marriage and to have an offspring in their family. And you have even planned to poison the same man that got her pregnant. <laughs> Not to kill. It's because I don't want any man that will come back to claim. I don't want any man to come back to claim. Your heart is black. You are wicked. You want to poison the man because she opened up to you. Because she told you who the man is. I believe in some tradition where things are done rightly. Women are permitted to cover the shames of their home. To cover the shame of their husband. In this manner, done with the consent of the man. Not this generation where traditions are created for selfish purposes. You need to go get your husband's age grade. Buy them a he goat and 12 tubas of yam. Get the ingredients. Have them feast from your pocket. Talk to them. They will pray for you. After that, you have to fast for 14 days. Ask God for forgiveness. So that this child can live. The curse on the head of this child is much. I have helped you and I will do all that you said. I was expecting the Queen to react since she asked you to leave. So she hasn't said anything yet. She came back the next day and asked me, what am I still doing here? I simply told her that the Prince said I should not leave and he paid my salary and she asked me, which of the prince? Because there is only one prince in this palace. I said, Prince Chuka. And, and she said, so this son of a whack has the audacity to challenge my orders. Hmm. So she left and since then she hasn't spoken to me. Huh. I was thinking she was going to react more than this. But well, thank the gods, it has ended. <laughs> but she said that my salary is off her plans. Does it concern you? Prince Chuka will be doing that. Don't mind that woman, please. Should I get you something to eat? Yes. You know, I don't joke with food. See, if you're bringing the food, make sure that no one sees you. Especially that queen. This one, she said that my salary is off her plans. Maybe my feeling is out of her plans too. Huh? Don't worry. For now, you'll be hiding. Uh, but you cannot be working on an empty stomach. Are you sure? Yes, no, I promise. You promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ugo Chupum. Yes, ma'am. Do you remember falling sick a few days after Chuka came back from the city? Yes, ma'am. Good. He poisoned you. <laughs> poisoned me? Hmm. Um, mom, how, how do you know this? Because I went in search of what happened to my son and I was told he did it. 
He had wanted to be the only prince in this palace. He sees you as an obstacle for him to ascend the throne as the next king. This has been the plot of him and his late mother. But it didn't work. Mom, I already told him that if he sees an opportunity to eliminate Chuka, he shouldn't hesitate. Chuka is poisonous. Thank God you told him already. Have you thought about you going out and I will say no? Have you thought about why I don't allow you go out alone unless you are in the company of so many guards? Because I believe that if we didn't succeed with poison, he will use assassins. I, I can't believe this. Oh, uh, the earlier you believe it, the better for all of us. Tradition may have its rules. History may have oh, its way. Yes, Do you remember for the a few days after Chuka came back from the city? Yes, ma'am. Good. He poisoned you. Poisoned me? Hmm. Um, Mom, how, how do you know this? Because I went in search of what happened to my son and I was told he did it. He had wanted to be the only prince in this palace. He sees you as an obstacle for him to ascend the throne as the next king. This has been the plot of him and his late mother. Why didn't work? Mom. I already told him that if he sees an opportunity to eliminate Chuka, he shouldn't hesitate. Chuka is poisonous. Thank God you told him already. Bella, what stupid question is that? Who the hell do you think you are? You can't control me. You're a gold digger. Yes. All you care about is for me to be king, by all cost. You don't care about the process. You asked me to forget about you once the crown eludes me. How dare you? You know what? Delete my number. I do not want to have anything to do with you. I'm done. Don't ever call me again. So woman can push a man to take that which belongs to him. And I think Bella is one of them. EGK. Forget about Bella. I have known her for over nine years. I should tell you about Bella and not the other way around. But you don't have another woman in your life. You don't understand, do you? You see, what I am pursuing is more important than having a woman in my life. And not to worry. When I get what is rightfully mine, the right woman will come. I like Bella. It's okay. Go ahead. Propose to her. You have my blessings, bro. You're kidding, right? Oh no. You have my blessings. <laughs> the great one. No. We have not come to ask anything from the gods. Rather, we have come to consult you as the eyes of the gods over some matters that is very important. Go on, more ease. Threat one. Our Igwe informed us before his death that he wanted to amend the tradition of this land. 
as elders. We believe so much in tradition and culture. We found it offensive against the courts. So we stood against it. That's why we come to appeal to you to don't let it happen. No. Let us follow on. It is only the Igwe that has the power to amend any tradition. Whether the gods approves or not. Because the gods of the land has already given a crown king the power to do so. I know that the palace of our late king is on fire and you the elders are confused. Don't mind the son the king had out of love. He can never be our king. It's not our tradition. If his father amended it before he passed on, then he has no issue. Yes, I know. He is the son of the king. A royal blood. As a matter of fact, royal blood don't stay away from the palace. But he cannot ascend the throne of our forefathers. Hello. Let no one say such a thing ever again. Um, there is one more thing as a more. There is this young woman living at the old missionary house, singing and preaching the gospel. Uh, we don't know who she is. The whole community is in confusion. We have equally gone there. But she couldn't say who she is. Are you aware? Let the spirit of the dead be. I have heard that voice so many times. Even the gods didn't answer me when I made consultations on that. Since the gods did not answer me and chose to remain silent on that girl, then you people should go and remain silent until she leaves that center. Wise one, is she a spirit or a human? I have not spoken with meat in my mouth. If you have ear problem, then visit Oti Chaka. I believe to hear you. Put me in trouble now. Who's all this? Where are the ladies? You! You! I asked you for a cup of tea and you're here gossiping? Are you mad? No, I'm sorry, my friends. The cooking gas is finished. I was just telling Ogo. Oh, is she the one that sent you on an errand? What about the electric kettle? My prince, it's faulty. It's spoiled. You are very stupid. <laughs> you stupid fools. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> What's going on here? Ugo, What's happening? It is not your business. I beg your pardon? What happened? He asked for a cup of tea. I went to the kitchen. The cooking gas is finished. The electric kettle is faulty. I came here to meet Ogo. It's her duty to refill the gas. I just came to tell her and he slapped me. He slapped you? Yes, my prince. As what? The king? Gochuku slapped you? Yes, my friends. In this palace? Yes. Gochuku, did you slap her? I 
Answer my question. Answer my question, boy. What gives you the right to slap her? What gives you the right to touch any domestic staff in this palace? What gives you the right to touch her? Are you mates? Ugochuku, are you age mates? Huh? What gave you the audacity to lay your filthy hands on her? Your work mother gave me the audacity. What? You... you hit me! You hit me! You hit me! What mother? Okay, I would prefer yeah, red color, bone straight. 24 inches. Kim K closure. Yeah. Alright. Oh god! Baby Prince, are you trying to fight me? You want to get punched again? They would slag itself the fence. Whenever he sees what doesn't concern him, he'd rather pass by. Yes. What is his business in this palace? What is his business? I pray he dies. Then we shall all celebrate. He deserves death. Fear not, my brother. Fear not. What's really happened? Hmm. Eh? The younger prince hmm. stabbed Prince Choker just for nothing. Hey. You would have seen the quantity of blood he lost if I had not cleaned it up. <laughs> but what really happened? Eh? What brought about the fight? <laughs> we are not talking about what brought about the fight. But why would that boy stab his brother? Simply because he's preventing him not to be wicked. I don't know who we call his brother AJK. The prince must not die in prison. Hospital, please. Huh? Okay. I'm coming there. I'm coming there right now. Your brother should not be your enemy. Why is his condition? I hope he will get better. Yes, he'll be fine soon. He had a deep cut and was badly affected. But he has been taken care of. Who did this to him? His brother, his younger brother. But don't worry, I'll see to that. Um, where's the doctor? Can you take me to him? Okay, then you have to follow me. Oh, 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 oh. See what anger can do. 
See what hatred can cause so And who is that GK to come in here and harass the entire royal house? This head cannot bring He's my next target. Better go in there and drop that machete you're carrying. And listen to me for your own good. Do not confront GK yourself. That nigga is a cultist and a serial killer. He couldn't finish school because of cultism. Leave him for me to handle. Mom, mom, we need to stop AGK from coming here. How is it possible that an intruder would come into this palace, terrorizing everywhere? How? <sighs> Calm down, everybody. I need to call the elders immediately. Speak with them about this before I go to any other place. And trust me, this will be the last time. Did anyone look for me? Mm, mm. You think he was here this morning? What am I here? Like what? Did anything happen? Hmm. Papa heard that Prince Ugo Chuku stabbed Prince Chuka to death. When? Where? That's what I heard. The news is all over the community. Could it be the reason Ichie came, came looking for me? I don't think so. I've already heard the breaking news before he came here. Hi. Papa. Papa. This should not be true. <laughs> you know Prince Chuka does not look for trouble. He's a gentleman. Yes. Stabbing kwa. <laughs> My queen, why should your son do such a thing? And from what I heard, it seems Prince Chuka is dead. Th that, that should be a, a fake news. Should be a fake news. However, if he's dead, he caused it. I've complained to you, elders, how he kept embarrassing, harassing my children in this palace and you couldn't do anything. Why would his cousin brother be, be, be here? All the time he's here trying to take decision. I, I, I do remember when you said he cannot leave. Queen Jacinta. Queen Jacinta. Did I hear you say, even if he's dead, he caused it? You don't even have any remorse that your young son stabbed his elder brother. Has he got into that? Jacinta! Are you here to blame my son or what? I want to know. He shouldn't have used a weapon on a fellow royal blood no matter what anyway <laughs> queen jacinta let us assume that this rumor of him being dead is fake because if not
in a mean younger. In a fuanya. So that idiot had the ghost to stab my cousin brother. Anyway, thank you, Chris. I would have loved my cousin brother even for you. The battle line has been drawn. You're flying out. Yes, but I have done the job, and it only requires for him to relax and be fine. Yes, doctor. But I spoke with the mother's brother, but he insisted moving him to the United States for proper medication. He insisted. Yes. Well, excuse me. What do you seek in the shrine of Ezra Kingdom? Ezemua, I still remain the queen of Ezra Kingdom. Coming here to seek for little findings. Is there any problem? It's a problem. Because the gods have turned their back on you and your son for being wicked and heartless. The royal blood was her. That print is at the point of death as you speak. Let me ask you, why do you seek for that which the gods knew belongs to your son? He committed an abomination by wasting the blood of his brother. I said, Mom, what do I do? What's it going for you, man? Hello, Jim. Ezra has his villages. Your son will give each village a very big cow. Six tubas of yams. And gallons of palm wine. This will not pass the next four market days. Then bring him here for glimpse. Please, who do I meet to help me on this? Did anyone help you when you were plotting the death of a prince his father brought in the palace to be with him? Go and do as the gods have instructed. There is no time. Go! Go! He shouldn't have harmed his own brother to the extent of having to stab him so bad. Prince Chuka saw him slapping a maiden that is way older than he is. When I came to the palace, I was told I supported every move for Chuka not to take the stool from him 
and sat on the king's decision when he wanted to do so. But I will not support any brother who will go so far to inflict injuries on his own fellow brothers. I wouldn't. You kill me. I am deeply sorry about this whole situation. Ugochuku is still a little boy. I didn't know what pushed him in taking a drastic step. Please forgive him. Please. Has the Ezemo told you what to do? Yes. He said I should buy six cows for the six villages. Yams and gallons of wine. Do you know what these things will cost you? Have you gone to the hospital to see how he's faring? I I heard his mother's younger brother flew him abroad, so I, I didn't bother going there again. He is badly wounded. You and your family should pray he survives. Oh no! Oh no! Welcome, Your Majesty. Dara, how are you? Fine. Where's Ono? He's sleeping. Please wake him up. Tell him that the Queen of Ezira is here to see him, and it's very urgent. Your brother should not be your enemy. This head cannot bring peace. So oh, if oh, Nana come oh, 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 oh. see what anger can do. See what My queen. can cause. We don't want such tragedy. Ugojuko is too small to have taken such action. Just because the elder brother hit him. Let me ask you one question. If both of them are of the same womb, can't he hit him as a younger brother? Huh. Let me tell you one thing. The seed of hatred you people are cultivating, or rather sowing in that palace, <laughs> will be very difficult to erase. I want you to do what the SMO asks you to do and caution your immediate family. Oh no, I am very sorry. I think the sorrow should go to Prince Chuka, whom we don't know his state of health as we speak now. The same royal family. I have done everything that you asked me to do. Yet, his spirit torments me on a daily basis. What should I do? Else knew about this. Nkiru, my daughter in law, and yourself. Then you didn't do what I asked you to do. You need to go get your late husband's brothers, the Umunda, and whoever you can get hold of. You need to make an open confession. Hmm? Yes, that's what the dead man was. You need to make an open confession. And remember, you've been accused of this before. An open confession. Ah, no. <laughs> no, that would be too hard for me to do. Uh, no, 
open confession. No. Ah, no, I can't, I can't, how can I? No. Instead, I will take my life. Sister Elizabeth. The Bible says, whoever that confesses his sin and is ready not to go back to it, that that person will be forgiven. It's not difficult, you know. All you need to do is to say, I'm sorry. I did this and it resulted to this. Please forgive me. That's all. There is freedom. There is peace. There is a level of peace you are going to experience after this. Okay, I encourage you to do it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will, I will try and do what you said I should do. But if I did not, you will hear from my daughter in law, please. Don't even dare to take your own life. That's a higher sin. You may never be forgiven. May the peace of the Lord be with you. I wonder why all these men will see the truth and not say it. Even the so-called as a mother sees what I don't know. The cow will run their stomach. The yam will seize their breath. And the palm wine will cause them multiple headache. I thought by now, Chuka would have been dead and forgotten. Then we would know we have another barrier to plan. I can't just wait to hear the breaking news that he is dead. Is it not money? I'll do it. Who's winning? We. Mm -hmm. At least the stupid Chuka will not be around when Mayuguchuku will be crowned king of this Ezra kingdom. Mm. And that stupid cousin of his will stop coming into this palace at will. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with him mm. all the time. I'm coming to be Chuka this, I'm going to do this, Chuka this, Chuka this, Chuka that. Okay, oh. then. <laughs> Oh, what? my dear mother, do not bother yourself. It has all ended. Even the so-called as a mother was supporting father to change the constitution since he's still alive and the gods will permit it. As a mother. Which as a mother are you talking about? That one that says nothing. Eh? The only thing he does is just to eat a wound or cocoa. Does he even hear anything from the gods? Well, I need to get ready, like I said, in four market days. So those things have to be ready. One can never tell what will happen if it's too late. Just calculate everything and... Uh, Tradition may have it through. Wicked soul who wants to kill his only brother because you were instigated to. And the mind to stab your only brother. Only brother. Your father's first blow. He almost died. You saw. of the wickedness of your mother and your sisters. Listen, be careful not to sit on that stool. It will kill you if you dare to sit on it. Without your brother's blessings. Oko? Oko, what is it? 
What is it? What is it? Oh. Oh. Uh, how are you? Oh, thank you. I'm here. There is something. Maybe you don't want to tell me. So what's that? Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. Mm. Obviously, you don't want to share whatever it is with me. Well, mom wants to see you. She is in her room. Mother. Yeah. Uh, oh. We are here to inform the royal family that in the next five market days, we shall be crowning Prince Ugochuku as the next king of the Zira Kingdom. The entire community will be in a feast four days after. That will be the last of Allah for the late king. Thank you, my elders. Thank you for this wonderful news. I'm super excited. We will prepare for that day. I have told you people that whatever you're planning, make sure Prince Chuka is aware. In fact, it is very important that you people should inform him officially. What is your problem, Ichie Ike? You're looking for my trouble in this palace, oh? You are seriously looking for my trouble? What is the business of an outcast with a traditional stool? What? Will, will he be king? No. Whether he is here or not, does it matter? Will it stop myself from becoming the king of Ezira? Never. Please. Please. I'm begging you. That's all right. My queen, please calm down. No one is going to take the rights away from your son. That's right. Believe me, if Prince Tuka is involved, that won't be a problem. Because he already knew the position of the traditional stool since we lost the king. Uh, we the elders who have taken our stand, and so shall it be. Get your son ready. Meanwhile, has he gone to Ezemo for the cleansing of what he did to his elder brother, Prince Chuka? Very important. Oh no, he's not been feeling all right. Before evening tomorrow, he will go there. Tradition may have its rules. History. What the hell is this? Ichike's problem with this family. Mm. Is it not better I poison that old fool? Great idea. If you want us to do that, we will carry out this assignment during the last Ofala festival. Mm. We serve in pepper soup and it's over. That's what we shall do. Because that man is evil. Look at the way he was even mentioning Chuka's name in everything. Chuka this, Chuka that. Ugo Chuka has to stay very far away from that man. Yes. That man needs to be avoided by all means. One more thing, sis. Mm, I think Ugo Chuka needs a wife, a good wife. Yes, because before ascending the throne, he needs a queen that he will rule this kingdom with. Hmm. Are you sure he doesn't have someone he's crushing on? Mm, I don't know, but I've seen him several times with um, Tionowu's daughter. Onowu oh, what? Onowu's oh, daughter. Sophia Kwa. Don't even say that again. <laughs> Come on! I mean, if you see them together, maybe it's a message from the father to the prince. Oh no, daughter. You kidding me right now? <laughs> Sorry. 
Try it though. Oh my god, are you this serious? Ha! Our sis, calm down. Oh no, whose daughter? I'm taking it personal. Calm down. <laughs> I know, I know. I know you want the best for God. Ha! You have to. Chef, who is at the gate? History may have its ways. The wish of a king can be the will of the gods. But destiny. You! What have you come to do? And what sort of stupid question is that? Okay, if you must know, we are here to pick something from Prince Drucker's room. With who? With him. With this idiot? Yes, with Ejike. How many times have I told you never to enter this palace? I am the authority here. What I say stands. But he's the one that knows the room and what we are here to pick. Ejike, with all due respect, can you respect yourself? I am still talking. Don't interrupt me next time. I won't take it from you. Were you deaf when I said you should not come here again? Were you? In Achomuku. Or what? My cousin brother belongs to this palace. Your cousin brother, not you. I was one of you. Your cousin Eh, or what? Akosugi, what will you do? Dad, come and observe the queen before I change her for you, they crazy. What in the worry? God! Yes, my princess. Push this fool out of here. I'm going to my cousin. Not even your mother or you can stop me. Eh? Come on down! Give the man proud of door before I change that. What did I worry you now? What make I throw you for here? You don't mad! What did I do you? Come on, you saw two of them. Get out! 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 Do you know I am wondering what I am still doing here? The salary is not fat. Neither am I eating well. Yet I am here. There is every reason we are still here. For me, once I save enough for my school, I will leave home. It is seriously becoming a drama palace ah. where all types of literature are being displayed. My dear. Imagine the queen stopping Icheke from entering the palace. Was that not an insult? A very big insult. Ah. A very big one. Um, you know, Icheke loves Prince Chuka. So the queen is obviously acting up as the woman she is, her royal majesty. Hmm. I love AGK. Hey. Yes. I love brave men. I love men who are strong. I love men who stand on their rights. I love men who love their brothers. AGK is one of them. I admire him so much. And if I have my way, I will walk up to him and express the feeling of my love to him. Yay. <laughs> This is nice. You can talk to him. At least it can kiss you, caress you, you know, help you solve that congee that has been here. Please stop that. What, what was all that? Seriously, so I will be here to witness the coronation. Mm -hmm. The end of it. Now you have said what has been keeping you here. Anyway, we are all waiting to witness it with our eyes. Hmm. I'll be loving it again, my heart. Come now. Chicken. The queen has turned the palace of Israel kingdom into a terrible state. And the gods are angry with her and her two brothers. I will advise you, ignore that one. And always do what is right. Very soon, I mean very soon, that which is sick. Not going to pass. Ah, uh, as a more, 
I don't understand. The gods are still angry with him. He who spilled the blood of his brother. I of the gods. Our last of Fala will be taking place in few market days from today. And the younger prince has been in position. So, why are you speaking of blood and death? Go home and place your ears on the ground. If guests not take it, Israel came down with the throne into a sad mood. And that is death. That very sacrilegious act of one spilling the blood of his brother what the gods have frowned at. They are still angry. But none of the items they bought are these gods. Yet, the gods are still angry. You will the moon. Hey! Then you can get my banana sword. You don't look at him, man. can do, see what hatred can cause so away, oh, 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 oh. your brother should not be your enemy, this hurt cannot bring peace, so oh, if you man oh, come out, oh, 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 oh. see what anger okay. can do, See what hatred can cause Oh, your way oh, 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 oh. Your brother should not be your enemy This hurt cannot bring peace So oh, if you oh, come on Are you this humble? You came even without seeing me. You sat to wait. Oh, um, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. You know, the last time you came, I called you a wicked soul. <laughs> Found out you have a good heart and a clean one at that. So why are you like this? Who changed you? Maybe sit at Yes, it. I am so sorry for what I did to my brother. I have not been myself ever since I heard your sweet melody about brotherhood. In fact, I was on my way to Ezemo's place to see him for the tradition they call Idozime. To wash and cleanse me for what I did to my brother. So I decided to stop here and apologize to you first. <laughs> ah, apologize to me first. Did you stab me? No, ma. So why are you apologizing to me? Because you called me a wicked soul. And you reminded me of all the horrible things I did to my brother and... I have not been able to be at peace. It's been disturbing me. Prince Ugochuku, why do you allow your mother and sister to control you? To infuse wickedness in your system? To make you drag the only thing that will bring peace to your family. Why? Why? We are not dragging anything. Says who? 
your father is dead and your mother and the elders are planning to put you on that throne when your elder brother is still very much alive his mother was not married to my father so he cannot be king it would be a taboo for him to sit on that throne you lie prince Hugo Chuku. your brother can be crowned the king Prince, there is something your father told you about kingship one of the nights in his bedroom. Isn't it? My son, I know there will be a big vacuum on who sits on my throne when I must have joined my ancestors. Choka, your brother, is the rightful person to sit on the throne. Only if you permit, let me explain. I did not pay the bright price of Choka's mother because of the pressure my father was mounting on me then. I did everything I could and I got the Gamaka pregnant, but still, the Royal Council will not allow it. Then I married your mother. Chuka is the Royal blood, just like you. I did not affect changes in the constitution of the Royal Council. Because I felt that I better allow you young men to work on it so that it can suit you because we don't know who might benefit from it tomorrow. Father, tell me what you want and I will do it. I want you to make peace with your brother, Joker. Unite with him. Our people say that united we stand, divided we fall. Unite with him. Your sisters will one day get married and leave this palace. Your mother will also live out her life and die. It is only both of you that will be the reminder of what is left of my ancestral lineage. So I want you to work on the constitution of the Royal Council and decide who amongst you will sit on the throne. So your father already made an appeal on how there should be unity in the family and how he or your elder brother should be respected. Your father also told you what happened between him and his own father when he wanted to marry Chuka's mother. Now you allow your mother and sister to control you. They only want to tear the family apart. You almost killed your only brother. What did Chuka do to you? Do you know your elder brother is in a serious pain as we speak? He can't even walk straight. All because of the injury and pains he sustained from you. Upon all your good hearts, Prince Ugochuku. Upon all your father told you behind the closed doors. I am deeply sorry. 
I tried to call him, but I, I couldn't reach him. And I have been seeing my father in my dreams, and he's been crying, but he couldn't say anything. But they made me hate him. My mother told me that he once poisoned me. Lies from the pit of hell, Prince. That is a deep lie. They only wanted it to poison your heart. They wanted you to hate your own brother. And you're obeying it. All because they want you to sit on that seat. Must you be the king, Prince Ugochuku? Listen to me. Avoid that throne. Whoever that sits there must fall sick. Because I have laid course. I cost the king, the king, King Okoronkwo, your father's great-grandfather. Yes, for killing all the missionaries that visited here. You, you cost my forefathers? How did you even do that? And you're, and you're living here? With graves littered around? I don't understand. I'm sorry, please. How, how is that possible? Don't be afraid, Prince Gochuku. I only spoke out of anger and unhappiness. Allow your brother Choka to sit on that throne. Don't take that offer. And do not let anyone know about it. There is something I will tell you, Prince Ugochuku. But that will be when next you visit. Say anything. But they made me hate him. My mother told me that he once poisoned me. Lies from the pit of hell, Prince. That is a deep lie. They only wanted to poison your heart. They wanted you to hate your own brother. And you're obeying it. All because they want you to sit on that seat. Must you be the king? 
Prince Hugo Chuku. Listen to me. Avoid that truth. Whoever that sits there must fall sick. Because I have laid course. I cost the king. The king, King Okorong, or your father's great grandfather. Yes, for killing all the missionaries that visited you. Your brother should not be your enemy. This head cannot bring Did you hear the breaking news last night? What is the breaking news? Wait, noon. Have they finally found out who that old woman that stays in that old missionary? Or awesome Naomi. Nee, without being told, we all know the woman. Oh, I could lady living in that old house as a mild woman. Who uses her voice to sing? Can't you see the way she dressed? Or even her hair? Yeah. My, sister, my dear, I have never thought of getting close to that place. And people that goes there, I hear them honestly. I even hear that she prays for them and they get well. She even gives them fasting and prayer. But for me, I think I like her because she's not harmful. Okay. And I love her melodies too. Huh? Since you don't go close to her, how do you hear her melody? Have you forgotten that we stay close to the mission? Akukomba. Eh? See, let me tell you. Mostly at midnight, she sings and I hear her melodies and her piano very clearly. And at times, I used to sing along with Tao. But getting close to that place, that is the last thing I will ever do. Because my father already warned us. Hey, but, Naomi, come to think of it. How can a young woman live among the dead? This is very scary. Anyways, what's the breaking news all about? Mm hmm. What you Prince Ugoshku will be crowned king in the next two market days. Hey, and guess what? The mascot I've been longing to see will display on that day. It will be a great day for me because I have not witnessed such in my life before. Hey, I heard you. But me, Chusum, I will not go. Eh? I am not going. Mm. Eh. Check. I think I know your reason. Because of Prince Ugoshuku. Nee. But Prince Ugoshuku is very wicked and heartless. Oh, what came about? Because of kinship, he stabbed his brother. Who know if Prince Shuka will survive it or not? Something will all drop and go down six feet. <laughs> Even the almighty Queen Elizabeth oh. dropped her crown and died. For me, I will hands up and make peace with my brother. Very important. Adimba. Naomi, you are talking as if you are from the north. See, but let me I'm... tell you. Oh, sorry. But let me tell you. Eh? It is not going to work. It will never work because I have discussed this with my father. And we have tradition in this village and we must follow tradition. A lot of tradition have been burned and nobody died. If killing of twins, sending people into the thick forest, and doing away out car system, and nobody died. The young prince should give up the throne. Let the one whose mother was not married take over. Besides, that's an agreement. Oh, yeah. You are right, my dear. Okay. Hmm? Mm -hmm. But it will be so hard. Very, very hard. Moreover, Prince Chuka has traveled out of the country, so they should continue with this their crowning of kinship and all that. It is even my business discussing about this thing. Are we gossiping or what? Okay, now it has not turned to gossip, Abby. You know, your money, Ali, which is not money, Madi. We are not quarreling. I'll wait for me now. It's your man. Is the more should go and indicate the presence of the white chalk. And it shall be given black fowl and some two bars of yam. So we can proceed. I don't know whether he has forgotten. How can he forget such a vital part of the tradition? Who knows? Because the last time I spoke with um, SMO, he said that 
Prince Ugochuku did not come for body cleansing. And as the Moor says, he will not go to the palace for the Itunzu that is body cleansing. What is his business on that? The palm wine, cows, and yams were provided. Every village in Ezira Kingdom have gotten theirs. He should go and turn to at the palace. I will send my daughter to the shrine immediately so that she will remind him again. Please do. So you can actually leave your father's house and come out. I don't understand. Now that I be coming out. When do one see you since your mother died? I was even thinking you've left the community. Thinking, con. I'm always around Biko. It's not like you even come to my father's house to check on me. How are you, by the way? I'm fine, no. As you can see, I'm just managing. Hey, <laughs> Dela. <laughs> you know the Ofola is fast approaching. I'll come to your father's house and pick a uh, yam and or cocoa. You know, he's one who know who takes a lot, huh? You know now. Just so, be cool. Till then. So for now, I'm going to see him more. Maybe I later you can come to my house. No problem. No problem. You are God, you are not a man, Lord. You are God, you are not a man, Lord. You are God, you are God, you are God, you are not a man, Jehovah Jireh, you are God. You are God, you are God, you are not a man. Sit. Wow, that was phenomenal. You are welcome. Has it been long? I don't know. I, you I came in. I just, I just came here. You are welcome. Um, do you know that I hide most times I walk in here? You hide? Because it's, it's an old missionary house um, filled with graves or um, the melodies? Uh, none of the above. I heard you preach about Christ yes. and peace. You know, you have a way of diving into someone's soul and mind. Well, nonetheless, I do not belong to that school of thought because in the palace we deal with the gods of the land. <laughs> and I do not preach against the palace. I only preach the atrocities be stopped in the land. We serve one creator, the owner of the universe. I ask that things are done rightly. By rightly, you mean selling my birthright? Never. You aren't selling your birthright, Prince Ugochuku. You are only sowing a seed of love, seed of peace amongst brothers. You already injured your brother. And I hope you know that mark will remain in him till the end of life. Funny enough, your brother will neither harm nor kill you. A day will come, you will find out that the only good thing that happened to you 
is still the same brother you almost killed. Keep at bay with your mother and sisters. Prince Ugochuku, cling to your brother. By doing this, the royal stool will be cleansed from the curse laid on it by me. You're repeating the curse you placed on my forefather's throne. Who are you? You are God. You are God. Oh. Who are you? You are God. You're not a man. Jehovah Jireh. You are God. Jehovah, you are God. God and can never be a man. Yes, he can do. You are God. I am not to die. You are God. <laughs> you are God and can never be a man. You are God. You are not a man. No. You are God, you are not a man, Lord. Jehovah Jireh, you are God. Jehovah, you are God. You are God. Of, uh, having a new king. What you saw there was not a chance play. Mm -hmm. First, they want to come to this palace, perform those rituals, leave the fire and the white chalk. It's huge. Hey! So, what then happens to the uh, chicken? Because what I'm thinking right now is to just take it to the kitchen and prepare a pepper soup with it. But you have a baby. All about the pieces. So, you want to go and eat what will kill you, Ewa? Eh? Who says it kills? Child. It does not kill you. Only a boom mad. Okay. I Chibiki, before coming to work in this palace, I do eat goats and fowls of people that bring these items to our chief priest. And nothing happens to me. It is normal. Yes. All these things are traditional values. And we Africans have the best tradition in the whole wide world. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Okay, see, before a new king emerges, there are certain rituals and rites 
that are being attached to it. Okay. And it does not involve human head. Leave all these stories that people tell you. They are all fabricated lies from the pits of hell. They are not true. They are not. Old man, history teller. <laughs> Africans, you are the best. You are the best. No, you are right. You are right. Let's see what will happen when the prince returns. But the prince, you know, the prince is no more interested in this too, from what I'm seeing. Chai, our prince Chuka. They have succeeded in chasing him away. They cemented it with an attempt on his life. But if you ask me, wherever he is, I know where Okay, no. Yes, it's better now. Every day fight. Let him stay there. Than coming here and witness all these insults and fights. It's unfair. But Naza and joke apart, I can fight for Prince Joker. Hey. I can fight for him. Ah, well, let me ask you something. Just come come watch me down. Those times they were fighting. They make you move. I was not there. When you are coward. Coward. I was not there. Coward. Joker is back. Thanks to the gods that he survived. What would I have done if I had killed my own brother? How do I tell him that I am sorry? Will he listen to me? Gochoko, you messed up. My mother and sisters deceived me into taking him out. He st st stabbed my own brother. Joka fought for me in school. Joka gave me food wears. He could have dashed them out, but he gave them to me. Very often he quarreled with my sisters, but he never quarreled with me because he loved me so much. How do I tell him that I am truly sorry? Oh my God, I need to fix this. The idiot is back with his trouble. But you all know he came to take a revenge. You need to be very careful. All of you. Because we don't know what he has planned with his uncle and other allies. This palace is a delicate one. This period. You know he will not spare two of you. Be very careful. We need to guide your brother with everything in us. He's the target. Honestly, Mom. I had a dream. Hmm? Yes. We are in stab to go multiple times. And before we could rush him to hospital, he died. So I think Ugo needs to be very careful. As for me, I'm always ready for him. If he wants war, I will give it to him both the previously. I will comport myself, yes. I just have to comport myself because I do not want to die. This kind of revenge might actually take one's life. I'm not ready to die, please. And for Ugochuku, he should be extremely careful. I'll comport myself. No more troubles. We have to guide your brother with everything in us. Everything. Greetings, Ono. Greetings, my son. Good afternoon, Ono. Good afternoon, AJK. When did you come back? I got back yesterday. 
hope you are very better now. Yes, and I'm I, fine. You have forgiven your brother. Prince Ugochu. Listen, in fact, we, we couldn't spare him for his wicked act. And we made sure he paid through his nose. And, uh... Oh, no. Huh? I do not want to talk about that. The most important thing is the gods spared my life. I'm back home safe. We thank the gods that you came back on time because you are going to crown your younger brother, Prince Ugochuku, tomorrow. Once again, friend, um... you need to give him your blessing. Does tradition demand that too? Sure, you're a prince, and you can give your princely blessing. Oh no, hmm? I'll be lying if I tell you that I'm excited about this entire situation. However, I have decided to obey tradition, since I am not fit to be king. Thank you for this understanding. And may the gods bless and keep you. You say, let's greet your people. All right? My prince, don't tell me you want to give up on the throne just like that. AGK, forget about the throne. I have lost it. Besides, we need to obey our tradition. My father made a mistake. So you want to allow your younger brother to rule over you, all in the name of tradition? AGK, my father failed to do the right thing before he died. So you can't blame the boy. Besides, I'm no longer interested. So why involve me in all these fights since you know you're going to back off? AGK, this conversation is over. Tradition may have its rules. History may have its ways. The wish of a king can be the will of the gods. But destiny must have its way. Tradition may have its rules. History may have its ways. The wish of a king can be the will of a god. But destiny must I have, have its rules. Greetings, my elders. Greetings, my prince. Where's Icheike? He's supposed to be here. Icheike said he is not coming and he will never come again. That the queen and your sisters humiliated him and couldn't give him respect as a titled cabinet chief. Well, he needs to be here, and he must be here. Guards, get the vehicle and get him. looking for a way to get to the village square. Can you please direct me? Oh, you are almost there. Okay. When you get to that junction. This very one? Yes. Okay. Just take your left. This very junction, then my left. Yes. Thank you. I'm grateful. God bless you. Cheers,
Tell your father not to go to the king's last of Allah. If he goes, he won't come back alive. Tradition may have its rules, history may have its ways. The wish of a king can be the will of the gods, but destiny must have its way. I could fetch our order, what is meant to be that. Greetings once again, my eldest. Greetings, Greetings my, my prince. prince. I want to use this medium to apologize on behalf of my mother and sisters here to whoever they may have offended. Please, with all humility, forgive. I call for the cancellation and amendment of that part of our tradition that forbids the first royal blood from sitting on the throne. And I hereby cancel all the curses and sicknesses placed on this throne. I'll have to take my leave.
What are you doing here? Please. I want you to find a place in your heart to forgive me. What would I gain if I had killed my only brother? I'm so sorry. They have crowned me king and this is the perfect opportunity for us to do away with the tradition that forbids you from being king. Please just, just come with me. This is a way for us to fix this and make our demands. Please. What demands are you talking about? Please. Just, just come with me. Okay? If you must know, I forgave you a long time ago, way before I got out of the hospital. So I suggest you go ahead and be king. It is your right. No, just, just come with me, please. The people are waiting. tell everyone present here today that the last of Allah coming up in the next two market days will be celebrated by my brother here. What? Because he will be sitting on the throne. The law and constitution of this land states that the king has the power and privilege to change the tradition. So on this day, this very hour, this very minute, and this second, I hereby transfer my kingship to my brother. No. And from today onwards, he will be addressed as King Chukuka Tabu Ezekibeya, the fifth of Ezira Kingdom. Please don't do this.
as the Onowu of the Zero Kingdom. I hereby crown you. King Chukwu Tabu Ezekibaya of the Zero Kingdom. was that? What? You humiliated me in front of the elders of Ezira. Do you know all I did for you to be on this throne? And you messed it up. Why? Mom, I just wanted peace. I want a unified family and I'm so sorry that I didn't tell you about it. Please forgive me and to my sisters, I am so sorry. You know how much I love you all, but I made a promise to Father. Yes. I'm sorry, Mom. Feel your pain.
I see anger and rage. Some of us are disappointed. But I have good news for you. This is a new start. It is a new beginning. And I must apologize to everyone. If I offended you in the past, I'm here to say I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Yes, I'm king. But that doesn't make me perfect. I need your help. We can come together and move this kingdom forward. We can come together and achieve one common goal with love and unity. I can't do this alone. I need your help. I need your experience. You're like a mother to me. I love you like a mother. And I want you to forgive me from the bottom of your heart as I forgive you too. Like I said, it is a new start and a new beginning. So put the past behind you Forgive me. I forgive you. Thank you. Ugo Chuku, you are a true son of your father. The gods will continue to protect you. You are my brother. And I love you. I love you too. Forgive me. I forgave you a long time ago. No matter what you do, always remember, I am your brother and I love you so much. My sister, I do not hate you. I understand we have our differences. I apologize for all I said. I take my words back. I know we had our differences. But it's all over. It's all in the past. And it's going to remain there.
please forgive me if I hurt you. If I said horrible things to you. I take my words back. Always remember I'm your brother and I love you. Forgive me. I forgive you. Come here. of what your mother did to me when I was newly married to the king. The grudges was a transferred one. I was scared because because of what your mother did to me when, when I was newly married to the king. The grudge was a transferred one. I'm sorry. Just find a place in your heart to forgive me. Very good son. I'm sorry. <laughs> that your father wanted to do but your mother and her lives held his hands tight may the glory of the Lord Almighty be with you, Thank you. the peace you made happen in your family shall linger to even the next generation have your seat I have done all that brought me to a Zira kingdom. Mission accomplished. And I shall leave this this old missionary house. Leave? Ah, please don't leave. Why do you want to leave? Please, uh, ever since I met you, I have had so much peace. I don't want to miss your mentorship and your advice. Please don't leave. Don't! Uh, you don't do that. Let me be more open to you, Prince Ugochuku. Do not marry from a Zira kingdom. The one who will give you peace you want in marriage 
is not here. Her name is Inkasiobi. When you see her, you will know. She will tell you her story. Three already died before she was born. She came to stay, and that's why her mother named her Nkasiobi. Let me tell you my story. Because you choose to listen to this stranger. I am one of the old missionaries that came to a Zira kingdom, yes. That came to stop the evil, the wickedness that is attached to the tradition. The killings and shedding of innocent blood There was a woman that birthed triplets. They already took the babies and we're about to kill the mother when I intercepted. Fathers and the people of Ezira Kingdom stunned me to death. What? Yes. So I laid a curse on them, particularly the king's stool. Ever since they've been dying. I have to come in human form to forgive them. Other missionaries that visited for the same papers were murdered. All buried around here. But I've forgiven the people of Ezira Kingdom and they are free from my wrath. One more thing. Your brother Chuka will not be blessed with a son. Your last child shall be a son who will sit on that stool after the reign of Chuka, your elder brother. You will live to see that day, Prince Ugochu. Oh, 
Jesus Christ, the man, as father and son, what a great story, great story, what a great story, what a great story, man to live his life, the way he's living is a full of pride, Jesus Christ, a man, they are both now as friends. What a great story. I cook on the everywhere. I cook on the everywhere. I cook on the tutor. I cook on my mamma. I don't know. I Jesus Christ, a man, they are both now friends. For a great story, ah, yeah, yeah, ah, yeah. Father told me about the old missionary house. What lives here? He's come back, Angel. He's come back. <laughs> 